This week's Photoshop design tutorial is for beginners. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at RitaPro.com. On this channel I'll show you guys easy Photoshop design tutorials in weekly quick episodes. Now I haven't been here for quite a while, that is because I'm super busy with my new production, with my new company and I'm creating a lot of work for clients so sorry for not uploading so frequently anymore but I will try to change that again. Okay enough of that, let's head right away into the tutorial, it's all about working with one font one background element and creating again another block element adding that on top adding some effects and then we get to the logo so let's get started okay so over in Photoshop in our right hand side here in the layers palette you guys get to see again first of all a group called text and then underneath background so I'm gonna start right away out just with the background here and show you guys it was first of all just a normal white layer then on top of that we had like a little bit of a skyline here in New York skyline I found these images again on Google and there's a ton of them and then obviously in black and white so drag that into Photoshop onto my canvas here and then change the opacity down to 60% which is over here so obviously again having a white background makes it a little bit washed out so you have a bit more white there instead of black say for instance if I'm going to convert this to a black layer the underground layer you'll see it is completely dark so let's change that again and just invert it and yeah with white it's a bit more washed out okay then on top of that I've added one black block here which is at 61% at the moment and then just duplicated this again the same block also at 60% Let's actually disable all of this and also create a block here. Now I'm going to go over to the right hand side here, create a new empty layer and I'm just going to rename this to block for you guys. Then over to the marking tool, I'm going to select the rectangular marking tool, hold shift on the keyboard and then making a selection here so it's equally expanding. I'm a bit lazy now, not working with some guidelines, so take a bit more time when you do this and create some guidelines. Again, if you're not familiar with guidelines, have a look on the channel as a playlist where you can learn more about the beginner stuff like guidelines and help layers. Or you can also go to view and just say here new guide and enter your value in percentages and then you can obviously put it into the center. Okay, so I've got my block here now. Let's move this a little bit around and you guys will see here's a pink line appearing. So this is in Photoshop CC now. So obviously Photoshop tells me when my block is centered. So this helps a little bit and your working process is a bit quicker. Great, so I'm in the middle here in the center. Now the next thing that I would do is again also fill this up. Okay, let's just have a look. This is also centered and somewhere over here should be also centered. There, there we go. Okay, so next step that I will do now. Okay, it's still not centered. There we go is hit right click inside of that selection while having the marking tool selected and go to fill. Under fill we're going to go to contents and select black. I'm going to hit OK and right away we have a black block. Great, so now press command D for all the Windows user please press control when I say command. So for you it's control D for the Windows guys, for Mac it's command D. Get out of the selection and right away again we have a black block. So let's delete layer 1 and layer 1 copy here and we're going to duplicate this block but first of all we want to change the opacity. So I'm going to switch this to 61% okay and now I'm going to duplicate this. The easiest way to do that is just press command and J. Again Windows people control and J. So you basically duplicated it now. Again go back to the move tool and literally just move these a few blocks apart. Okay, something like that, whatever suits you. Now I'm going to select again with shift the block first layer here and the block copy and move both of them again a little bit into the center. Again, remember you can also work with guidelines in order to make this a bit easier. Now let's also get back to the text here which is called the path. Obviously it will look something like this. So let's also create this. It's super, super easy. Now first step that I want to do is basically go to the text tool Okay, now toolbox, I'm going to make a nice selection here and write the, but all in small letters. And right away you guys can see also I've got the right font selected already with the right tracking. So remember you need to change this as well. So what I'm going to do is go back to the top here where you can select the font and the font is called Century Gothic Bold. 
You can also find this down below in the description again. Okay, and then also it's called bold over here and the font size should be around 90. So let's go to 90. Okay, 90 it is, 90 pixels, there we go. Then as well, I'm gonna select a white font color for this. So obviously you can also choose a different color if you like to. First of all, just select all your text. So I'm gonna go to red or maybe dark red. So white it is for me. Okay, then I'm gonna accept it from the top. And one more thing that I forgot to show you guys is actually just select it again. If you don't have the character box over here, go to Windows and select the character box. So select all of the font and then as well go over to the character box here. Again, under tracking, you need to switch this to minus 80. It would be at zero. So this is the normal tracking for the font. Go back and select minus 80 over here and right away your tracking will be a bit closer. So the, once you have completed that, you can just accept it and you're good to go. Then, now for the next step, I'm just going to duplicate this again so I don't need to create everything from scratch. Meaning, again, the font type, the font size, the color and the tracking, we can just duplicate this. So again, press Command J on the keyboard, duplicate this and again, if you're a Windows user, please press Control when I say Command. Okay, with the Move tool, I'm just going to move this a bit down and literally write in here path. Okay, so also all with small letters, path, there we do go, and as well it is also set to minus 80. I'm going to accept it again, and first of all take path now, just the whole layer, and move this a little bit up, and right away you guys can also see here in Photoshop CC, we are getting these awesome pink lines, which are guidelines, so they help you a little bit, just to see when your uh, text and everything is aligned right. Okay, something like that, that's good. Now just select again path and the layer and then basically move both down into the corner. And if it's still a little bit too big, you can still press Command T and transform this a little bit. Again, remember it's a text type layer, so it will also be high quality even if you upscale it or downscale it. Okay, and that's basically it for this quick tutorial. Now last step would just be putting it into groups with Command G. We can write here text, and again, the background stays with background here. Again, remember, Command G puts everything into a group. So yeah, guys, super easy, the path logo in Photoshop. Again, remember, you can always change your background color. If you change the first layer to black or white, you'll definitely get a different background effect. Yeah, if you're like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop design, then head down below, click on the subscribe button because we send out free Photoshop design tutorials every single week. And if you have any feedback for me, leave it down below in the comments section and I'll get right back to you. Thanks again for the like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Yeah, and you're still here, so that must probably mean you want to see some more videos. Yeah, then just simply click up here or down here and you'll land on a super amazing tutorial which is right up on our channel. Yeah, I think that's it for this tutorial guys. I have to get back to work. I'll catch you all in the next tutorial. See ya!